So let's just put our thinking caps on mm-hmm. and walk through it. What if we won the $1.35 billion in that ridiculous lottery jackpot? You know, I saw the winning tickets numbers, and I looked at those numbers, and I thought, we could have guessed those numbers. Those are all numbers we know. I don't know because they were all in like the 40s and stuff. I, I You never think that they would never be, none, but they, none of those would be single digits. Like there was no single digits, weren't there? Forgive my English, but I did not think I couldn't do it when I saw the numbers. I know. But I, I don't always play because I think it won't be me. I would have gotten the mega numbers. though. That would have been my mega number. I mean, by the way, first of all, I've been 30, 43, 45, and 46. I've been all those ages. There's so many numbers in the 40s. Come on. That's like, what are we doing? But think about it. Like, my 30th birthday was great. <laughs> 43 was just a year of nothing. 45 was a turning point, and 46 was recent. I could have picked those numbers. I remember and then I you just, turning 43. Yeah. I just had to get lucky with 61 in the golden 14 ball. Yeah. Anyway, if we mm-hmm. did win, what would we do? Like, what are the real things that you need to do? Right. You got to, like, lawyer up, right? Vivian 2 is on. She's on TikTok as your rich BFF giving you all kinds of financial advice. So, Vivian, welcome back to the show. Hi, Vivian. It wasn't you. It wasn't me. We didn't win. (laughs) Thank you so much for having me. And sad, no, it wasn't us. But let's talk about the steps that you need to go through and the things that you say that we've never considered doing if we were to win anything like that. What are they? Totally. So first and foremost, and people forget this one, tell no one. Not your mama, not your best friend. Don't say anything to anyone. That's so hard. But why is that? Because if you actually Google the lottery curse, uh, a lot of people and their close relatives, friends, end up changing quite a bit when there uh, you know, is $750 million post-tax involved and right. some pretty nefarious, insidious things might happen and you put yourself in risk. Okay. Um, if you, if you, so tell you anybody. shouldn't even tell your spouse, you can tell your spouse. However, that actually comes at a later step. Wow. Come on. I, the first, so the right first away. step when winning a billion dollars is you lie to your partner. I Go ahead. What's cannot. next? All right. What else? I mean, that's um, a, hold on for a second. Let's just examine that. Yeah. You choose I, someone you just, you, for life and that you can't tell them you won the lottery? You just go to bed that night? Like, good night, honey. Good night. I, there's I mean, no way I could. Even my incense wouldn't put me to sleep. All right, what else? Okay, what else? yeah. I want to know when that step comes. Step two, you want to protect your physical copy. You're going to take digital photos of your ticket front and back, and you're also going to take a scan of the front and back. And... What you're going to do against contrary uh, opinion is you do not sign the lottery ticket yet. Um, You want to be able to stay anonymous. And if you sign it with your legal government name, you're not going to be able to do that. So in Mm. the case that you are able to stay anonymous, just don't sign it yet, but put it somewhere very safe, uh, ideally a physical safe. Okay. What else? Okay. Um, Wait, wait. wait. Uh, Would you say a physical safe like in your home or would you go to like a bank and do a safe there? No, because you're going to, the bank's going to see you've got the ticket. No, but they don't, they don't know what you're putting in their safe. (laughs) Oh, they're going to know. Haven't you seen Kaliah's go? You know what she says. Ideally, if you have a wall mounted or floor mounted safe in your home, you can use that. Um, And, you know, I think a safe in your home is okay but if it's a small one that someone could physically that's just what i'm the safe like you mm. might want to consider using a safety deposit box at mm-hmm. a bank okay what else um so this is a step ryan if you would really like to share this information with your spouse um you're going to actually reach out to either an attorney specializing in lottery winnings so there are certain states where there have been a historical number of lottery winners um so there are attorneys that specialize in this space uh Alternatively, if that's not the case, you can actually just reach out to an estate planning attorney and share rough information with them and say, essentially, I'm going to be coming into a windfall of money. I need you to help me set up, essentially, guardrails that are going to protect me, my family, and the people I care about. Um, And you'll work with them and essentially share that, like, you would like to collect this lottery winning anonymously see how long you have to collect. And they're going to ideally, if you can collect anonymously, help you set up the right trusts or the right entity so that you can do so without publicly disclosing who you are. So basically by winning all of this money, you become isolated and lonely <laughs> well, because you have to shut everybody, you guardrail you right everybody way. out. Um, all right, is there anything to, else? 
you want to put these guardrails in place ahead of time just to protect yourself. Um, up next, you're going to be paying a massive, massive tax bill. So decide now um, how much money you're going to be giving away to friends and family after the fact. So your accountant is going to help you set up how much money you are setting aside for taxes, as well as how much you're setting aside to give to your friends and family now. Reason being, if you set this number up front, they can't then come back to you and say, can I have some more? Can I get this? Can I X, Y, Z? Like mm. you've already set aside that number and it's clear and demarcated. Okay. I like well, that. This, is, I mean, this has been a fun sort of exercise to think yeah. about what if it were what if? one what if? of us. What if? Um, Vivian, too, then, thanks for coming. Oh, there's more. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Yep. No, no. Last step. Oh, yeah. Last but not least, I think we all see in the headlines, people who win the lottery, they, they go broke in seven years, something crazy like that. So the last step is you're going to want to invest at least 50% of what you take home after taxes into a diversified portfolio of low risk bonds and index tracking ETFs. At that level of wealth, you can totally get a financial advisor to help you with that because essentially the point is you don't want to just get rich. You want to stay rich. Yep. Well said. Well, too bad that uh, this was just an exercise. <laughs> Vivian, thank you for coming on. We appreciate for those some tips. reason, I felt like I had the money. I was like, got uh, it. I, I'm going to go do that right now. <laughs> uh, all right. Thanks. You take care.